Richard Bandler. To some, he is a genius. As you take a deep breath... To others, he is a carnival hypnotist. Richard is the sanest madman I've ever met. It's quite scary, actually. He's a bit of a mad scientist sometimes. But the thing that people don't understand is that, you know, the press is out there saying he's crazy. But the one thing I do know is that most geniuses are a little crazy. He's sincere. He's flippant. He's quiet. He's bombastic. He's funny. I mean, he's just funny as hell, right? And, and that's part of his magic. Part of his magic. Richard can make someone feel at ease and uncomfortable all at the same moment. Got stopped by a cop and he looked at me and he said, what do you do for a living? Neuro-linguistic programming. People teaching NLP in the world today that aren't Richard Bandler. And if somebody asked me, I'd say, you need to see Richard, because that's the best version available. There's a lot of people doing great stuff, but Richard is the business. He knows it best. Richard was a very controversial figure, particularly in Santa Cruz. There were people who thought that he walked on water, and there were people who thought he was the devil incarnate. I've heard all sorts of different stories, and before I'd even met Richard, I'd heard stories. That he was a murderer, that he was a drug addict, terrible stuff. And also, you know, that he was yeah, bad-tempered. Great innovators who were often vilified in their own time. And I think we have an opportunity in this age to recognize Richard Bandler for his contribution to humanity. You gotta see the guy. It's an experience as much as a learning experience. It's an experience. It's an experience in hypnosis. It's an experience in, in, in humor. It's an experience of, of how to speak and hold the crowd's attention. There's not many that, that many enigmatic men out there or women out there that you can really say uh, who's like a living legend. So you just want to see him if nothing more than just that to get a dose of it because uh, you know, when I talk about Richard, I'm always like saying, you gotta, you gotta, you don't understand, you know, so you said it can't describe it, you know? 